All right, folks, so it is the 118th day of the year, and I'm doing a weigh-in. Hello. Please step on the scale. Ugh. Your weight is 273.4 pounds. <clears throat> So just to show you, there was no change between yesterday's weigh-in and today's after doing a refeed yesterday. <clears throat> and uh, just to show you that it is the 118th day of the year. It's almost 8 a.m. <clears throat> so I'm back on my second alternate day fast and I've experienced this so far within uh, uh, doing this uh, ADF uh, two days a week that that scale doesn't go up or down it, it tends to stay the same for some reason you may hear an alarm in a minute in the background just ignore it um <clears throat> it's someone's wake up alarm within the house uh but uh yeah uh, i guess my point behind that is to just show that uh there will be no weight drop until tomorrow. Tomorrow uh, is when the weight drop will occur after, you know, I complete the, uh, this ADF. <sighs> Told ya. <laughs> uh, one second. Alright, so. <clears throat> Uh, that goes off at 8 a.m. every morning. I try to get uh, started before that happens, but uh, today I'm running a little late. But yeah, that occurs because uh, I don't know, your body is just adjusting to how uh, you receive food, I guess. Uh, that is just my assumption. I'm not really sure, but I like it. I like that it doesn't change uh, between the days of uh, ADF. I like that it stays the same, stays consistent. When I ate my uh, stir fry yesterday, and this is something I hardly ever talk about, uh, it's been a little different with the ADF when I do that. Uh, I eat a lot of those. Uh, those uh, fried tortilla chips that they bring out. Me and my wife share a uh, one of those hot queso cheese dips. You know that's supposed to be a big no-no on any diet. And I we eat a basket, and they bring a they even bring me another basket uh, when I'm doing the refeed. I eat a lot, and I eat the the four flour tortilla shells. My wife doesn't eat hers uh, with her. Uh, Uh, mixed fajita, that's what we call it. It's a mixed fajita of steak and chicken. She doesn't care for the shrimp on the Texas fajita. I would like that, but she doesn't. So, uh, I compromise that way because, uh, I like it all. <laughs> but, uh, I fill those up with, uh, with the stir fry and the, uh, salad that they give me you know I put the lettuce on there and the guacamole and the sour cream and the whole nine yards and I eat a bunch of those fried tortillas I eat a lot of them and when I, I finally do eat after a uh, 48 hour fast like that uh, I mean I eat I eat really good I eat a lot I am a binge eater anyway by nature um, even back when I did keto, I would binge eat 
the foods I was allowed to eat on that and uh, it, it caused a lot of uh, it didn't cause a whole lot of weight gain but it caused a standstill from Hades <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> you know and then learning you know that you got to cut down in order to continue weight loss results uh, it's kind of a little frustrating for me to find out uh, just because uh, the fact that uh, that's kind of how you do it with everything you gotta cut down in order to lose weight that's just all there is to it so I figure <clears throat> figured out and it took me two years to figure it out uh, I want to eat the way I like to eat now you know if my wife was uh, on the same level as I am mental level uh, on my alternate day of eating I would probably be eating a lot more uh, chili cheeseburgers and onion rings and that type of thing and steak fingers and you know the really bad for you stuff but even with eating that way and, and I, I plan to get back to that at some point um, it, those of you who watched me long enough know that my wife has went so, through some health condition or health uh, issues uh, she goes to the uh, OGBYN today to uh, figure out and schedule, you know, her appointment for uh, her hysterectomy. So I'm doing all I can, and I have been doing all I can to help encourage her with her weight loss because it makes things easier for recovery and uh, everything, you know. So she's pretty much doing OMED and trying to do it as healthy as possible. Uh, and the days I don't eat, I don't really know what she eats, to be honest with you. I think she uh, eats a breakfast uh, biscuit in the morning, like a. Or she may eat a simple egg and cheese sandwich. That's what she gets. She gets a grilled egg, uh, uh, not a grilled, a scrambled egg and cheese sandwich at one of the uh, mom and pop restaurants in town that serve all kinds of breakfast items. <clears throat> I think that's what she gets and uh, splits a meal with one of her clients. They uh, get like a turkey and dressing meal with uh, turnip greens and stuff like that. And I think they split that uh, sometimes. Stuff like that. <clears throat> but even though you see that particular meal on my channel a lot, uh, it's not how we eat all the time. Uh, like my weekend videos for instance uh, you've seen the birthday cake uh, the ice cream cake we ate that uh, uh, I grilled some chicken legs on the uh, smoker outside I uh, had an Arby's beef and cheddar sandwich and a medium order curly fries stuff like that a whole bunch of different sandwich type stuff or bread uh, a lot of bread in my diet and uh, I still continue to lose weight even though bread is supposed to be the uh, the big no right and if you've watched me long enough you know that uh, I chose this path because uh, I felt misinformed you know in a lot of ways you know saying when I found out that most of these dieters are uh, talk about it you know and, and a lot of times when they talk about it, it's a way they just kind of slip it in there uh, the whole intermittent fasting thing they just kind of slip it in there that uh, you got to do that in order to lose weight and then they actually try their best to attach it to very diet specific uh, diets. 
try to defend their diets in a way as if it's not some sort of fad diet and with people who you know have serious health issues that lead them into a uh, keto lifestyle or a vegan lifestyle or a paleo lifestyle or carnivore or whatever the case may be those numbers are very small in comparison to the rest of us out there who can just uh, do it by uh, straight up uh, fasting or intermittent fasting or alternate day fasting to begin with and be just fine eating whatever the heck we want so uh, that is the reason I exist and uh, I will get more into that in future videos I've been thinking a lot about that lately uh, <laughs> in one of my upcoming videos I will uh, break out all the equipment I bought and spent money on just to uh, enjoy a keto lifestyle uh, just to make you know some t sort of uh, keto friendly type of bread where I can continue eating cheeseburgers and uh, roast beef and uh, pulled pork sandwiches and stuff you know that I, I enjoy you know buying the more expensive uh, sugar free option ketchups and barbecue sauces and stuff like that uh, all that money spent and wasted just to figure out that you have to cut down in order to uh, lose weight um, it just got to me and uh, <laughs> so I figure you know if I gotta cut down in order to lose weight I'm not going to promote any specific diet out there uh, in doing it. Um, I don't think that healthy eating is a bad idea by no means. But I think that a lot of people come to the realization that they're not like I like like me, just like me. You realize you're not in any kind of specific trouble health-wise. And, and you just go back to eating regular food and that's kind of what happened with me and it turned around for me oh don't worry I got that keto stuff documented uh, not quite as heavily as I do this channel but I, I've got that stuff documented as well uh, through video uh, my journey through that was documented and with it I wasn't brave enough to come on every single day and post a video like I do now I uh, I guess I didn't fully believe in it because I have done low carb diets in the past like Atkins and stuff and always wound up in plateaus and uh, failures over time but I, I thought keto was different I thought I could implement it as a lifestyle I was wrong about that my lifestyle is hectic with my autistic kids having to be on the road all the time and keto is not the way in a society where gas is costing as much as it is now and food is costing as much as it is now. Alright, so we're at the OGBYN now. And uh, Jan is in there uh, trying to uh, schedule her uh, surgery appointment. So uh, just sitting out here chilling in the truck uh, waiting on that. So this morning when my alarm went off, I was talking about my son and my daughter and stuff. And uh, I was running late, so I had to go ahead and cut that short. Uh, sorry about that. I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> uh, but uh, we'll talk about that another day. But yeah, I just went through... Uh, A drive through for my wife. She's doing OMAD. She got her a chili cheeseburger plate. And uh, she eat it all. <laughs> uh, it takes some serious willpower to smell that kind of food uh, sitting right beside you. And not to uh, take a bite of anything. Or 
or not to get something for yourself. Yeah, uh, I just want to put the weight loss behind me at this point. Um, uh, going through the alternate day fast, uh, results have sped up like, uh, like double, like it's like it's a double speed up effect. Cause uh, you know before I would have to uh, when I would take a full week of eating, you know of. Uh, just having fun the way I want to I would have to you know do a strict sub fast or something like that uh, to get back under control and start to drop weight again you know and I, I drop a considerable amount of weight doing an OMAD with uh, subway uh, subs or really anything OMAD related you know as long as you're doing one meal a day uh, you're going you're gonna to drop something on the scale, you know, doing that uh, intermittent fasting with OMAD. Uh, especially the heavier you are. But, you know, it, it kind of slows down after after a considerable amount of weight loss. You know, I, I hit that 50-pound mark uh, doing intermittent fasting. And I've said, you know, from the very beginning, the very first video, that someday I might, you know, implement this uh, ADF into the diet and uh, here I am <laughs> doing that but I, I you know I wanted to lose a hundred pounds you know that was my goal or that is my goal uh, going forward <laughs> but uh You know, I want to get there a little quicker. Uh, the weight was moving fast in the beginning, you know, doing too mad. You know, I was doing too mad in the beginning. You know, not even one meal a day. I started adding one meal a day to amplify results. And then I, you know, I did the uh, sub. You know, I'd split that into two meals, which was really a one meal split into two. Uh, however you want to look at that, uh, be my guest. <laughs> But, you know, that's pretty much an old man, you know, with some space in between your meals. I, I guess it's technically a two man at a lower calorie deficit for sure. And, yeah, you know, that that's all well and good and that's fine. But it's really all about the fasting part of it anyway. That's what it's been about the whole time. It's not been about specifically about a nomad or a two mad or strictly intermittent fasting either. Um, like I said in the very first video I put out, I would, you know, uh, do this accordingly as needed, and I feel like it's as needed now and. Once I get to my goal, I'm going to have nothing but fun. I mean, I'm going to eat whatever I want. You know, I may eat two to three times a day once I get there, and I'll monitor that scale like a hawk. <laughs> and when I start to pick up a certain amount of weight, I will implement... Uh, I'll, I'll try it different ways when I get there. I'll try to do it as an OMED like I was doing in the beginning or a 2MED and uh, see if that helps, you know. But I, I got to get to that goal first, y'all. I got to get there first. It is uh, important to have fun while you're doing it. Uh, I understand that. I know uh, in the beginning I was a lot of fun, wasn't I? <laughs> So, so here I am, you know, not quite as fun as I used to be, but, you know, still, you know, to some people, the results that I'm getting are the fun. So I got to kind of look out for everybody as a whole, you know, who watches me. Uh, what's not fun is uh, this visceral fat, this belly fat, this heart attack fat on me. Um, I want it gone. I just want it gone. And, uh, 
if I have to sacrifice two days of not eating away, I think that's a small sacrifice. Very small. Uh, because tomorrow I get to eat what I want. Oh, oh yeah. And uh, Saturday. <laughs> and y'all have heard me talk about this before on my videos. But Saturday uh, is my uh, mine and my wife's anniversary. And uh, I will be going outside of my intermittent fasting window on Saturday. So if you're going to do things like that, then definitely alternate day fasting is very, very necessary. Very, very necessary. <laughs> I like it. It's very necessary because... Uh, uh, on strict ADF, they don't even have a window. They don't have a window at all. They just take an entire day off of eating. You know, they don't necessarily have a window. Now, I have a, I have that window because I, I feel like, you know, that's going to help amplify the uh, results and keep you from uh, gaining because uh, so far, doing the OMAD with that, you know, I've come to a complete standstill. Uh, speaking of alternate day fasting, I seen a, a person on their channel. <laughs> it was a video that they had put out a year ago. Uh, I guess because I've been dealing with the ADF now for two weeks, you know, they pop up in my feed now. Uh, this person uh, done a ketogenic diet and practiced intermittent fasting and was mad as hell. She was mad as hell because uh, someone out there had uh, posted, you know, it was another keto person. It was another YouTube channel. She openly attacked another channel for their beliefs and their way of doing things, which I think is highly wrong. I mean, she went full-blown Karen. You know how, you know, the this younger crowd calls, you know, people like that a Karen these days. She went full-blown Karen about it. Uh, talking about this person was going to correct their weekend by doing uh, alternate day fast and getting back on uh, the keto diet, you know, after they got done having their weekend of fun or whatever, you know. <laughs> and, you know, me, I like to dig into the comment section and some person asked who it was and she actually put a link to their YouTube channel on there. I thought, wow. It's going a little too far. But, you know, then I looked at that link, you know, and the the person they were talking about was a larger channel than she was anyway. <laughs> or large enough to where it really don't make a hill of beans, what she had to say. But, uh... <sighs> She was claiming intermittent fasting as part of the keto diet. I so said, that's, that's it. If you're doing that, you're keto. you got to do both. Uh, no, you don't. No, I've said that plenty of times. No, you don't. Mm -mm. Fasting is a different animal altogether. It's not a diet. It's a protocol. If you're doing keto and you're having to do any kind of fasting, intermittent fasting or or otherwise, that should tell you something about where your weight loss is coming from, right? It's coming from the fasting, okay? Let's get it clear. <laughs> if you want to prove me wrong, you know, eat all day on keto or whatever, you know. Eat all day on it, you know. Show me how you do three meals a day plus snacks uh, on keto and, and and keep a maintained weight loss. Show me how you do that, and I mean meals. I mean they they <laughs> there's some out there you know that'll put a piece of chicken on a plate and three green beans and call that a meal. No, I'm talking about a meal. <laughs> Show me how you do a meal the size of the ones I eat. They can be keto friendly or whatever, but you show me how you do that plus snacks and you keep the weight off on your specific diet and then I'll become a believer because you know I've looked for it all my life and I've never found it fasting is the way it just is 
it's always going to be that way. That's what God gave us to tone down. And uh, that's what everybody's going to have to face sooner or later if, they, if they're serious about their weight loss. Some good old restriction and willpower is what you got to have. And that's all. That's it. You don't have to have an app. You don't have to have anything else. You got to have... You got to have the willpower and the want and the drive to do it. That is for sure. That is how I was able to avoid getting my own chili cheeseburger plate today because uh, I do have that drive. I want to reach that goal. So on days like that, uh, I won't have to have a day set aside for it. I can just simply monitor what the scale says and uh, adjust accordingly. Now, I know that sounds easier said than done uh, to a lot of people, and a lot of people say, oh, well, we'll see when you get there. Yes, we will. We will see when I get there because that is the plan. I'm not going to put all this weight work into this weight loss and then just blow it when I get to the goal. No. I got to keep talking about something, and maintenance is just going to be one of many things that I talk about. My channel is a variety channel uh, reflected upon my unique personality as a latchkey kid growing up, uh, a Gen Xer. Uh, I think it says everything there is to say about who I am, who I've been, and where I'm going uh, throughout the rest of my life and throughout my life so far. So, it's kind of a variety channel is what this is. This is just a phase in my life that I'm going through right now that I am sharing. So, I'll have a lot more stuff in the future to share that goes along with uh, with being a Gen X or an a latchkey kid, for sure. I share that a little bit along the way now, uh, but... Uh, the way I diet was actually one of the things that uh, I practiced uh, into that uh, lifestyle or into my life as a as a Gen Xer. Fasting is how we done it. All right, we'll talk to you in a little while. Mm. All right, folks. So it is the end of the day, and I think I've pretty much said enough for today. <laughs> All right. Until tomorrow, you folks have a good one. Mm.